It's not strong enough. You need something that makes people go, <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck did he say in that video? What the fuck? I need to know. And at the very beginning of the video, to minimize drop off, you want to assure them that those expectations are being met. If you're putting a million Orbeez in a pool, don't start the video with you shopping for, you know, your mom's birthday present. At the beginning of the video, just say, this is 100 million Orbeez. We're gonna fill this pool and this entire backyard with them. Match the expectations and then you wanna exceed them. So you wanna assure people that what they clicked on is what they're getting and then blow their mind and be like, but you're also getting even more. Anytime you say the word algorithm, just replace it with audience. The algorithm didn't like that video. No, the audience didn't like that video. If I wasn't retaining a viewer, just would it make sense for you to promote it? Why would you promote a 10 minute video that people watch on average a minute and a half? I mean, every video, even the stupid ones, I learned something, you know, and that's something I'd try to make a very big point of is like, no matter how bad we mess up, like we sometimes have videos that have horrible retention. It's just like, as long as you learn from it, it's not the end of the world. Every YouTuber says it. It's like, yeah. no one will ever be able to replicate my style. It's, I gotta edit it. But newsflash, someone can. It's actually not as difficult as you think. It was good that I got a, a really strong foundation on how YouTube works and how the style of videos I wanted and everything before I scaled up the team. If 